Hello folks, thanks for joining me and viewing my video. Uh, this little project is uh, uh, something I put together uh, for my brother's railroad model railroad system. And I figured I need to make something useful out of my electrical skills and my newly acquired uh, Arduino programming skills. This is a scale model of the old-fashioned semaphore signals that the railroads used to have in the early 1900s. Um, and uh, I uh, did some digging around and found uh, uh, pictures and used everything to uh, scale it all down to uh, make this project. Initially you'll see I have three inch lenses. Um, those are actually lenses I found at, which are filters for photographic flash units. I found those on eBay and that was my starting point for this project. Those are three inch lenses. I tried to find lenses that were green, amber, and yeah, uh, uh, red, and uh, I had a hard time finding lenses um, until I ran across these on eBay. That was my starting point. Everything is scaled down to these three inch lenses because uh, a, a real semaphores have seven and three quarter inch diameter lenses. I wasn't going to make a full scale system, so. I had to uh, file, find something that was scaled down and this was the first set of lenses I could find and these are roughly three inches in diameter. And what I did was is I scaled everything down to the ratio of seven and three quarters inches for a real one to three inches for this one and then everything else is scaled uh, to that ratio. The spectacle that holds the lenses, the uh, actual flag, all that is scaled down to what uh, you would find on a real semaphore. Now let's get a little closer here. Um, I have a gear motor with a turntable on it. That, that actually is the driver that holds and uh, rotates the entire spectacle and arm. Uh, I have a read switch sensor here. I've got another one over here that you can't really see too well because it's hidden. And let's go look from the top. And you can see it's kind of dark, but I made it dim so we can see the lights when, when everything's running. Uh, there's a uh, three inch diameter lantern shroud from a, a lantern flashlight. I use that for lighting. Uh, and that will actually sh shine light right through the lenses. Let's get this thing started. Okay, everything's running 110 volts. I'll turn it on and you can see the light come on immediately. And initially you'll see that the semaphore dropped down to what I call the home position. That's a starting position uh, that I programmed in the Arduino to uh, allow the system to figure out where the arm or what the p initial home position of the arm is at. Once the Arduino is running through its routine it keeps track of its position and we'll uh, move everything accordingly. Uh, it keeps uh, count and uh, makes sure that uh, it doesn't rotate past the uh, proper positions. And like I said, I use read switches uh, on the uh, uh, panel or the front panel of the box that actually are sensing neodymium magnets that I glued to the back of the spectacle and that gives me precise uh, positioning. Let's, let's open this thing up and uh, let's see we can move this thing back now and here's the guts the first thing you see is I have the reflector and shroud and my bulb mounting uh, bracket for the flashlight uh, uh, that I used for the lighting of the uh, lenses um, here you can see the uh, light hitting the lenses. So that is powered by several boards inside. We'll get to those in a second. Here's the actual motor that drives the entire system. Uh, that's the uh, actual motor that drives a gearbox that's uh, mounted in, on the front of the panel. Now, let's get into the guts here. Um, We've got 110 volts driving uh, a transformer that is actually a, a 12 volt secondary. That goes to the second circuit board which uh, generates uh, 
15 volts DC. Uh, you can see an LED on there. I've got my uh, uh, circuitry for my REITs, which is in there. The red light indicates that the uh, uh, arm has hit the REIT switch and it locks it in position. The second board you see here is the Arduino board. Uh, it's mounted on a uh, modern devices, really bare bones PC board that I uh, purchased. That thing works out great because it's a miniature board and uh, it's a lot easier than and cheaper than uh, installing a $30 Arduino board. That goes to this uh, third board here. That board is my uh, driver board. The Arduino controls the two relays. There's a black and blue relay on there and a MOSFET. The uh, blue relay is the braking relay. And as you can see, I've got LEDs uh, indicating when the LEDs are actually driven. The uh, blue LED is, uh, I'm sorry, blue relay is a fail safe, and that's the braking relay. What happens is uh, the Arduino uh, powers it up to uh, generate a short circuit across the motor for stopping or doing dynamic braking on my motor to stop it for exact positioning. The second black relay is there for uh, reverse. Uh, I use the double pull, double throw contacts to reverse the polarity going to my motor to control forward and, re and reverse. Uh, on top you can see a MOSFET. That's the actual power transistor that's driving the motor and I use the Arduino uh, output pins in PD PWM pulse width modulation mode to control the speed of the motor. And lastly we have our uh, board that drives the uh, light bulb, the lantern light bulb. Since the entire system runs on 15 volts, I didn't feel like uh, just putting in a voltage regulator. I said, let's do a, a simple PWM pulse width modulation circuit to drive the brightness of the bulb for the lantern light. And uh, since I had to uh, reduce the voltage anyway, because system runs on 15, the lantern uh, bulb is 6 volts, so. I figured, well, I'll add PWM. I built a simple 555 timer PWM circuit and it allows me to uh, reduce the power going to the bulb. And I have uh, adjustable brightness also. The entire cabinet is actually a closed circuit uh, television cabinet I found at uh, uh, a surplus electronics store, science and electronics store. And uh, like I said, all these parts came together in a nine month period. I fabricated a bunch of stuff. I uh, repurposed uh, a lot of things to make this entire project. It took me like, a, like I say, nine months. But uh, as you can see, it, it works and I'm pretty happy with it. And I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for watching.